What is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the U-Box VESC. This is a dual motor controller based on the VESC 6. The U-Box can handle up to 75 volts and 200 amps of current, which is really high. So you can choose to buy the U-Box with or without the remote controller, which comes as shown here. This is just a pretty standard remote controller that you'll see that comes with a lot of the cheap Chinese pre-built boards. I think that it's a decent remote. The throttle is a little bit flimsy and the overall remote doesn't feel like it's that high of quality, but I do really like the overall function and the design of the remote itself. The remote has that screen built into it that shows how many miles an hour you're traveling. It also shows your trip distance, so essentially like an odometer. It's really well integrated and it has that nice rubberized finish. I do have to say that while I do like all these things, I personally wouldn't use it as a remote because you can hook up another separate remote to your U-Box and I'd much rather use something like a VX1 or VX2. The remote is charged via a standard micro USB cable which is included with the U-Box and remote. The next bag that comes contains a lot of these wires that are used for various purposes. Included are the power switch which is integrated into the U-Box so you won't need a switch on your battery or an external switch. The U-Box already has one integrated into it, which I think is a super nice feature and I like to have on all of my VESCs. It also comes with the connectors, which is something that I've never really seen. They've been kind enough to already include an XT90 to solder on to whatever you're connecting your U-Box to. The final package includes the U-Box itself, which comes just as shown here. It comes in this metallic casing that's already integrated into the VESC, which I think is super nice. Not only does this protect everything, but it also acts as a massive heatsink. And the first thing that I noticed when I unboxed it was how heavy and dense this felt. I instantly thought that this was a vest that was going to last and be super durable, all the wires feel nice, and it feels like a super premium product. Although the design is a little bit confusing with all of those various ports, I think that the U-Box itself is a super durable vest just based on the materials that it's made from and it just looks and feels premium. Like I was saying, that massive metallic case that surrounds the entire vest is going to keep the U-Box running super cool while you're pushing super high currents through it to get the maximum performance out of it. The wires included are also super high quality silicone and it comes with these four millimeter bullet connectors which is perfect because that's what we already use on all of our motors and it comes with a female XT90 which is exactly what we use on all of our batteries. So it plugs in place right into everything used in everything from our Demon 2.0 series and most other DIY builds will use very similar parts. One of the other things that I immediately noticed was the sheer amount of ports that are on the U-Box. There were so many various JST connectors that I was really confused as to what they all did. All of them have a purpose and there's actually a ton of cool features such as a port for your BMS, one for the switch, and even one for a horn or a light. I found this to be one of the coolest features because I've always been wanting a solution where you can integrate lights or sounds into your ESC and control them from your remote. As of right now, I've seen the sounds working on their website and I think the lights are gonna be coming soon, but they're all available for purchase from Sprint and Power. All of the other ports are pretty standard. There's always one for a sensor wire, one for UART and then there's also some other random ones that I wasn't sure what they were. They just basically offer a bunch of other connections into your VESC and I'm sure you could do a ton of customizations using all of these. I like how everything's super neatly diagrammed and laid out on the U-Box so you know exactly what's being plugged into what at all times. As I was saying, one of the most noticeable features about the U-Box is this massive red aluminum case that comes with it. I think that it's really cool that they did this but the downside is this VESC takes up a ton of space. The VESC itself is just so heavy and so massive, and while some people might like this, it's not gonna be great if you're looking to do a really compact build. So here's the U-Box compared to one of the most standard ESCs, the Fockbox Unity, which is about the height of an 18650 cell. As you can see right here, the U-Box is quite a bit thicker, so if you're looking to do a really slim profile build, you're not gonna be able to fit it inside of those slim enclosures. You're definitely gonna need one that's a little bit thicker. That thickness can be seen right here. It's about one and a half to two times the thickness of a Unity. The overall footprint of the U-Box is also quite a bit larger and pretty big for an ESC. It's both longer and wider than a Unity as pictured here. That means it's gonna take up a lot more room in your enclosure. So if you're looking to do a compact build, it's definitely not gonna be that great of an option here. When you place the Unity on top of the U-Box, you can clearly see that the U-Box is quite a bit bigger in every single dimension. We didn't really find this to be a problem when we integrated it into some of our builds for testing. However, if you're really on a tight space, it's not gonna be the best option for you. The Unity, the 6.6, .6, and the Storm Core are evidently the biggest competitors for the U-Box, and I would say that the size isn't going to be the difference maker between whether or not you're gonna buy one or the other. It's overall gonna be the performance, which is why we decided to put the U-Box to the test 
by replacing one of the Unities in our Demon 2.0 to a U-Box. The U-Box comes with all of the connectors that we already use, so it was just a matter of fitting it in there and plugging up all the connectors and then programming it. We also had to drill a bigger hole for the power switch as it comes with a different diameter. I personally think that the switch that comes with the U-Box is super cool looking, it's shiny, and it also glows green. I'm really used to the blue or the white look from the Unity, so green was something that I thought was really cool, but not that big a deal. We then hooked up our Flipsky VX2 remote, just as we do for all Demon 2.0 builds using the UART port, and then programmed the U-Box using the VESC tool flawlessly. There were no issues in that department and we got the board up and running pretty quickly, and then we got right out to testing the U-Box. Considering that the company that makes the U-Box, Sprint 10 Power, was a company that I've never heard before, I really didn't have super high expectations for the product, or the smoothness and the quality of the SC. However, as soon as I hopped on this 2.0, the torque and the smoothness of the board were incredible. I was so impressed, and it honestly felt like we hadn't even changed out the Unity or even the Storm Core that we had been testing in it before. The U-Box provides super smooth, reliable, and powerful acceleration and braking. I was really impressed just by how smooth it felt. There's not a lot of ESCs that have that feeling that are buttery smooth. The only ones that I've really gotten like that are the Unity and the Storm Core. Even something like a 6.6 .6 still has a little bit of a jerky feeling to it. However, the U-Box was really getting close to a lot of these more premium vests in terms of how it felt. It launched us up any hills, no problem, and that's just because the U-Box can handle so much current and that heat sink's going to keep it nice and cool while running those massive 6374s. I was just super impressed with how it performed all around. We've only been riding our 2.0 with the U-Box now for around a month, so we don't really have any data on the longevity of the U-Box, but I have to say from this initial impression in the first month that we've been riding it, I've been super impressed and honestly considering carrying it as a product on our online store. That's just how good of a product it's been, and I think that, that really goes to show to the amount of development that's been done in the Eastgate community in terms of VESCs. The U-Box has just been a really great option and I think at its price point it's going to be a really great competitor to a lot of these other premium ESCs. If it's performing the way that it has been in a couple months from now, I think that companies that are selling the Unity and the Storm Core are going to have a really hard time keeping up because it's just such a cool option, especially once the remote begins to integrate more options into your board so that you can have lots of cool add-ons. Its current price point without the remote is $249.99 which is an extremely competitive price point because it's right in there with the 6.6 a little bit more than the Unity, and substantially less than a Storm Core. So I think that it's definitely a one to look out for in the future. The most important thing for me while riding is knowing that my brakes are never going to cut out, which is a problem that I've had with quite a few vests. The U-Box is not at all like this. I've gone down super steep hills at quite large speeds, and I've always felt in control. It provides super good braking. It'll stop you on any hill. At this point, we pretty much exclusively use VESCs for our ESCs and all of our builds, and being able to dial in exactly how much braking power you want is perfect, and it's no different on the U-Box, it's just like every other VESC out there in terms of dialing in the power. The acceleration is absolutely obscene on the U-Box, we've been starting backwards on a hill, we push forward on the throttle and it smoothly goes transition from rolling backwards to accelerating up this hill. This one's a little over 20% and it just bombs up this hill as if it doesn't exist. We're going to have to check in and see over time how the U-Box does in terms of its performance if it actually holds up to the test of time and keeps performing the way it has been years into the future. So we'll definitely be updating you guys on that. But for now, I think that the U-Box is a great ESC and if you're interested in purchasing one, we'll have a link down in the description below. Sprint End Power, the company that makes the U-Box, has also had great customer support throughout us testing this unit and they've been super helpful with answering any questions that we have about it. So there's going to be no worries in terms of the customer service when you buy one of these. Anyways, that concludes our review of the U-Box VESC. If you guys are interested in any of the products used in this video, we'll have the U-Box linked below. We'll also have the Demon 2.0 linked below. It doesn't use a U-Box, it uses a Fockbox Unity, but maybe that'll change in the future, we'll see. Anyways, make sure to go check out the Demon 2.0. It has 100% 5 star reviews, everyone that's purchased one is absolutely loving it and it's an absolute monster of a board. While you're on our website, also make sure to subscribe to our newsletter because we've got a ton of super cool and unique Eastgate products coming out this spring. They're going to be entirely new and game changing for the community, so if you're subscribed, you're going to find out about these products first. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and comment down below what you think of the U-Box and the Demon 2.0. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.